there could be more help on the way for families struggling to keep roofs over their heads during this pandemic. A new order from the Trump administration aims to halt evictions for some renters through the end of the year. Channel 2's Brandon Walker is joining us live in southeast Houston with the details on this. Brandon? And Christine, last night we told you about the CDC moratorium on evictions for those who are paying rent. All of this because of the coronavirus. And so today you've got people on both sides of this argument. People representing tenants, also landlords here who say they've got some questions about this and just want to know how it's going to work. I want to be really, really clear. Lone Star Legal Aid, which defends tenant tenants being evicted, hosted a Facebook Live Wednesday to answer questions about a moratorium on evictions announced Monday by the CDC. The amount of, you know, tenants that this is going to help is um, astronomical. The CDC's temporary moratorium goes into effect Friday, runs through the end of the year. To apply, residents will have to declare to their landlord significant financial loss because of COVID-19 and can't pay full rent despite trying. Tenants also must stipulate moving would leave them homeless or force them to live in close quarters with others, which is unsafe during a pandemic. Single applicants can't make more than $99,000 a year, no more than $198,000 in homes with two incomes. A good step, say housing advocates, who add rental assistance is still needed because residents will still be responsible for money owed. There's nothing in the CDC's eviction moratorium order that uh, alleviates the debt that renters are uh, owe right now or are going to owe in the future. Landlords also have questions. Last month, we introduced you to Alberto and Erica Hernandez, who filed eviction against a tenant in June. They haven't had a court date yet and have had to pay out of pocket for their mortgage. Their question, what about them? It was discouraging for us just because we feel we're already not being heard and not getting any help. Yeah, that family we profiled earlier this month, we spoke, I'm sorry, last month rather, we spoke to them today, their thoughts on this. Again, people are still looking to get some questions answered about how it will work. Landlords also say that there is no protection for them here. All of this going into effect on September 4th, rather. Advocates say that they wouldn't be surprised if there are any lawsuits filed to challenge this, so stay tuned. We are live on the South Side. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News. All right, Brandon, thank you.